So I thought I'd do a video on the 125 gallon reef tank, give you guys an update on what's been going on. Um, haven't done one in a while on this tank. Um, just kind of let you know the ins and outs of it and what's been going on in the past months. Um, make sure that uh, you go check out uh, my website, AquaticSupportSystems.com, where I sell all sorts of aquatic products, foods, things like that. And uh, if you're new to this channel, I'd sure appreciate a subscription. Um, if you like what you see, like, comment, all that good stuff. Let's get on with the update. All right, so here's just kind of a, a wide shot of the tank. It's a 125 gallon, six foot tank. Doing, doing decent lately. Um, you know, some things have been better than others. Um, some things I wish I could figure out, but I'll just take you through everything. Um, Green Star Polyp doing real well. Um, growing like crazy. Just spotted a dead clownfish. Now that's a bummer. Hmm, that must have just happened today. He was still alive yesterday. I have to figure out what happened there. Um, I, I, I show you everything. I don't, I don't hide stuff uh, uh, in these videos, and I just discovered that right now. Um, here's a nem that had split. Has been doing real well and has just been closed up like this a lot lately. I'm not sure what that is. Um, if anybody knows or has suggestions on that, please let me know. I'm, I'm not anywhere near an expert on saltwater and, and reef stuff, so um, I can use all the help that I can uh, get on stuff like that. Uh, the main, the big them, rose tip bubble anemone, however you want to say it. I think I talked about this in a prior video, but it's split and they kind of do their thing in these two areas right now. I got this frog spawn that came from uh, the big frog spawn in my uh, bio cube. It's doing well. These, uh, these nice uh, candy cane or trumpet corals here are doing decent. Let me know if you know what these uh, encrusting style corals are here. I have no idea. I bought them at the uh, local frag swap maybe a year ago now and then um, just didn't know what they were. And then I moved the Zoas that were down way over here and constantly getting covered by Gobi sand. <laughs> I moved them up here and they're doing a lot better. They're just not colorful Zoas, unfortunately. So I gotta work on that and up my game as far as the Zoas go. This uh, Toxic Green Hammer is doing awesome. Things getting huge. Um, my uh, acans down here are still not doing as good as I'd like. There's some mushrooms spread throughout that are doing good. This torch here has kind of grown a little bit and is doing its thing. This I think was an octospawn and it just hasn't done well. I think it's maybe getting too much flow. Um, my gyre's right there. Um, try to block it out. Let me know what you think if that's causing problems right where it's at. Mushroom colony down here is doing phenomenal. This frog spawn, I think is what it is, is doing well. I'm gonna have to cut this short because it's about to get loud in here. Um, I just heard some people come in upstairs. Uh, trumpet coral's doing good. Fish are doing decent, although I lost my yellow tang, but the purple tang, six line wrasse, Blue hippo tang, scopia tang, all the shrimp, the yellow wrasse, they're all doing great. I'm gonna cut this short, guys, but thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you're new to this channel and you like what you see. Let me know if you have any suggestions, comments, questions, that type of thing. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.